Wild night inside Commonwealth Stadium last night. The football Cats moved to four and one on the year with a win over the Eastern Kentucky Colonels, but it was not easy. And if it wasn't for this guy behind me, Dorian Baker, doing ridiculous things like making an unbelievable grab with 52 seconds to go in the game, the Cats would have lost. Here are the sights and sounds from Saturday night's win. Coached better than we did. They played with much greater energy. We got outplayed and outcoached, you know, the whole game. We really did. Back to throw. And he goes high for borders. He uses the height at six foot six. I am very proud of our team and our determination uh, to, to stay with it and to finish the game and to, and to somehow find a, find a way to get the victory. Play fake, setting deep, has time. Throwing deep down the middle of the field and diving in town. And it's a Kentucky touchdown. You got to play with a toughness and a mental edge about you, or else you you won't look very good. You know we're four and one, and we're ready for Auburn. Um, you know, we'll watch it. You know, like I said, we got to we got to play a full game. We got to play a full four quarters. Ron inside slant and the tackle carries all the way to the end zone. Devin Borders with his second touchdown. Pulls out of the gun, gives it to Camp, trying to get outside right, running for the pylon, touchdown, Kentucky. Could you talk about that touchdown pass on the fourth down? But there. You know, we had some other options on the play, and we saw him in one-on-one, -on -one and he's a big guy, so we, we went to it. Kemp back left, Horton back right on fourth down. It wasn't originally a uh, fade. Actually, we had a play switch, so. Fourth and two. Tolls looks. He was, he was kind of playing inside a little bit. Um, so I was just, you know, going to, at the end of the day, I was going to let him try to make a play. There's no chance. I got to make that play. Fourth and three. If I don't make it, we lose. I underthrew him twice you know, when I was trying to you know, kind of put the ball on him early in the game. But I wasn't going to miss that last one. Your man coverage at the top. Back corner of the end zone. He throws it for Baker. Did he get it? Touchdown! Kentucky! Ah! Dorian Baker pulls the Wildcats within one. Great individual effort. I mean, you know. What, what can you say? I mean, he just went up and made a play. When Dorian's obviously a really good player, and so when that situation came up, I just said, hell, I'm going to live or die with this guy, you know. In the shotgun, Kemp to his right. Fake to Kemp. Quick throw near side. It's Baker. He's hit at the one. He fights. Touchdown, okay. Kentucky. Two in a row for Baker. Now one of them coming in motion. And it's going to be a trick play as Beasley takes the handoff, in trouble, goes to throw it back, he's tackled for a loss, game over, Kentucky wins the game. Corey Johnson read it the whole way, Aaron Beasley comes in motion, gets the handoff, looking for a throwback back to the quarterback. C.J. Johnson stays home for the tackle, Kentucky wins the game, 34-27. to No game for Kentucky this coming week. The next contest is Auburn at home. First Thursday night game ever inside Commonwealth Stadium in Lexington. 7.30 kick time on October 15th. The game live on ESPN.